this presentation, I am making a video of a custom-made two-link system. This has two talking links, 20 lines. The very top unit is the power supply. The can cover below has the interrupter. Then the two rectangular cans below that are the line of cutoffs. And then to the right is the fuse panel. Then we have a Telabs rack uh, shelf, custom made circuits and uh, off the shelf cards. Down below that is some automatic electric rotary switches that are used as line finders. Then we have two first selectors and you can do digit absorbing on those. The very far right hand can is uh, fuse alarm, release alarm, tone coils and so forth. Then below that is an automatic electric dial tone generator, old style tone, not a precise tone. And at the very bottom of the rack, we have two connectors and of course the bank block for the connectors. The system with the covers removed, we have two AE 10 line line and cutoff relays in the top. Then we have next to it a fuse panel, which is for the uh, most of the equipment below. The very, very top unit has some plug-in power supplies and the ringing generator, which is over on the right-hand side. Below the line of cutoff relays is some Telabs cards, and this is where some of the control circuits, trunk circuits, and another fuse panel is located. Directly below that are some automatic electric uh, rotary switches, which are used for uh, the line finders. There are two line finders and then a trunk finder. Below that are the selectors on the left side and then the trunk control unit for the uh, incoming call portion that's on the right side. There's an automatic electric dial tone generator mounted below the control unit that has the trunk for incoming and some of the common equipment. And down at the very bottom are the connectors. There are two connectors. Of course, this is a two-link system. And it is a four-digit system, so one digit absorbing and then one digit at the selector and two digits at the connector. I'm looking at the line and cut off and he'll go off hook, hang up, go off hook, hang up. The interrupter, which is mounted directly below the power supply, is the cover removed. We'll have a call placed through the system. So we're going to be dialing 3540, and it'll be on one of the two links. And I've shown the links without talking uh, and with close up. So this one will be as the call is actually happening.
The module that I'm the closest to is a custom-built module that has the relays for permanent signal and release timeout and so forth. And then the top coil is the dial tone coil, and that is connecting between the dial tone generator and the first selector. The black coil below is the all links busy, so when if both links are busy, when you go off perk, you get a tone letting you know that they, uh, there's no available links to talk on. And then the bottom is a repeat coil to couple the tones to some uh, other stuff. This is the rear of the rack. This is a 19 inch wide rack, seven foot tall. Everything on here is custom made. The 110 block is the mainframe uh, for all of the banks and auxiliary equipment. This is where the cross connects are done. Down below in the rear of the two selectors are the tone to pulse converters. In the rear of the connector switches. This is all made up of mostly automatic electric switches and components. There are a few Western components mixed in as well. The line finder theory is from a Western electric line group. The machine is also 100% connectorized so that each item can be unplugged and um, shipped and reconnected without having to cut any wires. This unit is probably about 350 to 400 pounds with all the stuff on it plus the rack. Side view of the relay rack with the cabling and the amphenol connectors. This has made a very nice package. The modular concept is wonderful if you wish to transport it. The end of the video.